Hey what's up YouTube, it's Wellington here with the Cinema 4D tutorial and I'm going to show you how I was able to do um, this. Now I used basic keyframes like um, without using any kind of plugins or anything so this is the scene right here um, where I did everything. Um, I'm not really going to go through um, the how I made all of these, you know, like rotating stuff and stuff like that because that's basically the same thing uh, just keep framing you know when you want this to be in and where you want this to be at a certain place a certain time in a timeline so it's basically the same thing it would take me a long time to just going through and showing you every all the tubes that I put in there um, but what I'm going to show you that you know is how I made these numbers count down you know from 5 to 0 so what I did is I put all these numbers into the in you know into um, the scene, and I made sure they are all in the same spot. So what I did is create the first number that was a five, and then I just duplicated that into all these numbers and just changed um, what they are to four, three, two, one, and zero. And then what I did, um, my keyframing, I went to the you know the first keyframe that was a zero right there. And I went to five and I was like, I want five to be on, on zero. So right here, you can see it's already um, zeroed out. So I would like these ones right here, the visible in editor and visible in render. Um, render is mostly what you want, but I like to be able to see what's happening. So I keyframed um, the visible in editor too, just so I can see what's happening while I'm editing. So I went ahead and keyframed the zero here to be on. And then I went on to the 30th keyframe and stored that to be off then. To be off at 30. So it's going to be on through zero to 30, which is basically about um, about a second, uh, depending on the keyframe you're um, the frames per second your project is in I'm usually doing 29 point something so right here the 5 is off so then I go to the next number and in that same spot at the 30 um, the 30 frames I told this number to come on which is the 4 right here so in right here I turn it to on so I do that for both of them just so I can see what's happening like I said so the 4 is going to be on then, but then I went back one keyframe and told this to be off just so it's not on at the same time when the 5 is on. So I turn that one off. So the 5 is on here and then 4 turns on but 5 goes off. So then go to 60 seconds, I tell the 4 um, to go off so at, th at 60 seconds I tell the 4 off and then I keyframe that but then go to 5 I mean to 3 and tell it to be on to so I turn that one on and keyframe it but then go back and tell 4 um, and tell 3 sorry to be off a keyframe before it turns on so that will ensure that all the way back it's been off um, it's been off until when it comes in so 60 seconds we have the four um, the three on and then 90 second in I mean 90 frames I tell it to go off and then I tell at the same keyframe I tell two to be on so keyframe that, but then go back one keyframe and make sure and turn it off. Yeah, so it's not on all throughout the time. Um, so I go back in and then at 120, I turn, um, I tell it to go off, tell the two that I'm on to go off uh, that keyframe. And then go back. Um, actually, no, go to one and turn it on. 
as you're turning the off I mean the two off you turn one off so I mean one on go back and tell it to be off a keyframe before it turns on so that will ensure that it's not been on all that time long then go to 150 and then tell one to be off don't forget to keyframe there but then turn zero on keyframe it go back one keyframe and tell zero to be off just right before it turns on and then you can tell it however long you want it to stay I'll go to 180 and then turn it off I mean it's the last one so it doesn't really matter to me I'll just leave it but as you can see as I scrub through here actually if I play this now you have those changing numbers just right like that that's easily how I did it so as you can see the finished video everything looks pretty smooth you'd have to go through in and you know whichever animation you're going for or whatever you're trying to put around um, your animation your numbers you know you can go ahead and do that what I just wanted to show you is to how to easily um, achieve um, the countdown or count up to you know whatever you're trying to do without you know using any plugins or anything like that so thanks for watching do not forget to subscribe to my channel and leave your comments um, and questions in the comments section below and I will get back to you as soon as possible but thanks for watching I will see you in the next one peace